Hey, man, say, man, we back at it again, man. Nothing more, nothing less. Just two players in the flesh. Give you two live and direct on the set. Yes, this sir. is Big Headed Corn on the couch. I am your co-host with the mouse. BZ Mac and the handicap assassin. And you already know my other brother. Hey, what's poppin', Big Headed Fam? It's your boy, Big Gotti. Thank you all for rocking with us on another one. I hope everybody having a good yeah. day out there. If y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'll right. let you know when we drop. Hey, look, shouts out to our sponsors. Shouts out to all y'all that's still rocking with us, man. God bless all y'all. Now, I want to actually start today's show with that man, Sean Kingston, man. Let's get it. So, Sean Kingston, man, yesterday he got his house raided, man. And I, I guess this entertainment company... I think it was called Ver Ver or something like that, but they basically gave him a TV, a whole entertainment system to put oh, inside him of his entertainment house. that he got it from. Yeah, it's like had. a Ver Ver uh, entertainment company, yeah. but basically they gave him a TV to put inside of his house. It was like two hundred and some inches, so they hooked up the whole thing, and I guess he didn't pay him, right? Yeah, and that's like a whole wall for sure. Yeah, so they had they had filed a lawsuit against him. I, I think a cup a couple months back. But then it's been a, been all these kind of conspiracies, conspiracies and stories that he's been yeah. uh, not paying people and telling them that Justin Bieber is going to go to. I've been hearing these, that a lot. Too. Yeah, these little special events. So basically, he was trying to use like his his old fame, basically. Nah, facts yeah, for a to while get, to get free things. And I'm surprised he made it this far because he's been he's been fell off a long time ago. a long time ago. So I don't even know why Sean Kingston would even try this, especially if you're not relevant, or especially knowing that you can't even get these people that you're saying to even go to the places to do these little because i guess there was like little pop-ups where you would they would sean kingston was supposed to be there with justin bieber and they was supposed to you yeah know, sell no, and I, i've been hearing a lot about that like that's how he's been getting by lately like yeah guest appearances and yes, popping sir. up here and popping up there saying you know what i'm saying famous people's names and shit but he got his mama arrested so his mama's Damn. 60 something years old but i don't know if his mom had, had anything to do with it or she just had like telephone calls and texts with the other people you they know. knew what they was doing yeah ma ma maybe they did but I, oh yeah because like they probably he tried to get everything in his mom's name or something huh you know you know how stars do that i'm not sure if that's the case because his credit was probably been burnt up yeah <laughs> I, i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure if that's the case in this matter but i think that uh, in a nutshell i think when you do things like that and you don't uh you know you come short on your in your end of the bargain Right. Nah, and that really makes his mother look bad and not. But it makes, makes Sean Kingston look, look bad because yeah, if you say you have all these stars, you say you're going to have Usher pull up, you say you're going to have Genuine, you just, you say. Let's be real. When's the last time you even seen or heard of Sean Kingston? You know, I haven't. But and that's facts. I think that he made such big songs. No, nah, he could live he, off them for a that's while. That's what I'm saying. That, I, that sometimes uh, you can have other people on the outside looking in, believing what he's saying because his songs were so big. You know and what like I mean? Like you were saying last week about Chingy. He's still living off his songs and shit. Yes, yeah, Ch Chingy, same thing. So uh, I'm not saying Sean Kingston's even broke. He might just be saying like, bro, I'm not going to pay y'all. You know what I mean? He's just or, not irrelevant. This oh, just made him relevant. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, or, or, or you know what I think too, bro, to be honest with you? A lot of a lot of stars do shit like that. They, they try to do, they try to get uh, shit free, right? Right. And when Use they, their name as far as they can. And sure. that's cool, right? When it comes, I think he did something with jewelry too. I don't know if they was talking about a million dollar watch or some shit. Yeah, we talked about it a couple months ago. Or, yeah, Sean Kingston. No, yeah. no, no, I'm talking about Sean Kingston is the one that got a watch and he still ain't paid for the watch. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. We I talked think, about it. I think. I think that it's a combination culmination of all the things that he's doing domino effect yeah so the feds came in and said you know no more we got to get you now pop can't you know be scamming I mean? people no can't more be scamming you know people, bro. we see what you're doing they, they they bring in the evidence i seen what he was doing like. yeah so when you're not cracking i mean you gotta get it cracking <laughs> you gotta get it cracking yourself right <laughs> that's what i'm saying like you said he ain't been relevant in years Pete. So, so he gonna you know what i mean the cowboys people like bad publicity and send to keep his name going but I don't know if it's for good things, but you got you got the attention you asked for. Man. If he got the attention, and um, now you brought your mom and shit into it, so yeah, and he could face a lot of years uh, in the feds for you know scamming, outright scamming, you know, taking all these products and yeah. you know not paying. And he has back. a history, so man. And just, not only that, he has text messages between him and the other damn, party stating see. stating what he's gonna do. So it's like, and a lot, like you said, a lot of artists used to do that, and famous people would do that when they were going broke and shit. Yeah. Type Gucci shit. Gucci used to try to do it. All yeah. types of shit. Yeah. But then that shit catches up to you. And now this is what we're seeing right here. Shit. Because you could build up a mountain all you want, bro. If that shit built yeah. on bullshit, it's going to crumble it's down. It's going to crumble for <laughs> yeah. sure. Hell yeah. What the else? Best gotta, of luck to him and his hey, mom hey, in that situation, man. Shout out Sean Kingston. But, but yeah. bro, you got you to gotta do good business. And, and not only that, I think that he probably can make another hit song. 
So he should just get back nah, in the studio. For sure. He's just been trying to finesse people, <laughs> yeah. all types of shit. Like, bro, you didn't your your career didn't even leave on a bad on a bad note. So you know what I'm saying? Go make some more music. He made, like you said, I can only remember one, but I remember he had a couple. Beautiful girl and all types of shit. Bro. But that was huge. That, that was like was platinum, huge. double platinum. That's what I'm saying. He probably still getting paid. He for probably that. still eating off that. That's what I'm saying. I think he just finessing people. Yeah, all these bad publicity stunts and shit are making him look bad though. Yeah, man. at a certain point, you just finessing it. Yeah. You gotta nah. kick back with right. that type of shit. What else you got up for? A scam <laughs> likely, man. Yeah, it's like scam likely, man. For real. We gonna get it going with the. Uh, people been trying to use that Kendrick and Drake beef and trying to, you know what I mean, inherit that beef and use. The same beat that Kendrick's been using. They not like us and shit, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they got the whole uh, world using that whole beat. world. Yeah. LA is going crazy, yeah. sparking beefs back up from two years ago with the uh, Stink Team and Rimble and OTM and all that shit. But I don't think that beef, my personal opinion, I don't think that shit ever stopped. You no, know it I mean? didn't. It just got ignited again, like I said. Yeah, like Rimble. And more people got dragged in, like Big Sad and all types of. Yeah, like Rimbo been fe- feeling a certain type of way. A lot of people have been feeling a certain type of way. Did but you when hear I seen, is this? Yeah, I heard Rimbo's. Oh, monsters! I'm, not, I'm I'm fucking with it. That's what I'm saying. That shit was something. That shit was something. T- I ain't gonna. And lie, I heard bro. both of everybody else is this. No disrespect to Ralphie or OTM, but yeah, he came harder than y'all. I don't know what. Yeah, but Rimbo always been better than them, and I think that's why they mad. You know what I'm saying? And that's clear. But to hear Big Sad, I, I heard his whole live. Yeah. So I was watching his live. It was about yeah. 40, 40 something minutes. I seen that too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he was saying a lot of things about Ralphie. You know what I'm saying? He's saying he smashed his baby moms. A lot of accusations. Yeah. Man. He said she had a black Camaro. She used to pull up when he was in jail. In the studio. Yeah. Yeah. To the studio when yep. he was in jail. He said uh, she's an immigrant. And um, she had to get married to Ralphie to get her Damn, papers, get her green card, and get shit. her green card, right? Yeah. So, I mean, there was a lot of motherfucking allegations, but to me, I don't think Big Sad lying because, like, a lot of these girls, they be out here thinking they slick. You know what I mean? I believe it. Yeah, but 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 Big he Sad, said, ask your girl, and she's gonna get all shaky and uh, stuttering. That means yummy. But Big Sad sound like he was a real Draco fan. You know what I'm saying? He was mad that uh, Bro, everybody was left real, him. Yeah, no, you know that's I mean? facts. And a lot of people, but I, I hear I hear that so much. I don't know what to say about I it. I still bro. hear it. People mad that they left Draco in that situation where he lost his life. Like a lot of people don't like that, bro. I don't know because it could have been. You know what I mean? It could have been prevented. It, a lot of the people that be talking that shit and that their squabbled up. stepped up. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them stepped up and they got. I heard Ralphie was throwing kicks and K7 got knocked out. So I mean, like, that's what Big Sad What could they really do? Like 50 versus 10. So, like, they're going to do what they can or they're going to run. Like, and in my personal clearly, opinion, that's what happened. In my personal opinion, like, you're supposed to squabble up until it's too late, but you're supposed to get out there. No, nah, but Draco thought he was squabbling up. He didn't know people had the night, but you. You got to be ready for all that shit. Yeah, you know that's I mean? why I said squabble up until it's too late. Yeah. Meaning that, like, if I could sock the first couple people that run up on me, that's cool. But if y'all start surrounding me, for I'm sure. going to have to get up out of there. Because you don't know how this shit can go left like it did. For sure. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are mad at Ralphie, right? So they're saying you left your brother. You know, you threw a kick. That's all you did. Big sad making jokes about it. He said it's in HD. Everybody see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and damn. I can't say that's, Big Sad lying. And that's sad because they got to see that shit the rest of their life and shit. You know what and I mean? he said, y'all going to be known for the people that ran yeah, for the rest of y'all life. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's a, and do you think that, uh, I think it, like, ever since that happened, like, Stink Team ain't been the same. It's, it The the whole thing kind of went downhill. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people seen what they did, and they was like, Man. And everybody's true color show. For sure. And I like Ralphie because he a mellow-headed type of dude. Yeah. And he really I do ain't like even, that part about him. Yeah, he really ain't even never even been like that in the first place. You know what I mean? All that shit was like for show and shit like that. Because if you ain't going to go slide for your brother, then obviously that shit was just for show. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's getting clear, man. Yeah, it's getting clear. But you should just be that. Don't try to act gangsta. Don't try to act hard. It's no point. Yeah, it is what it is. They did what they, you know what I mean? Is he going to get back or get continue to do what you do, man? Just just be regular, bro. You don't got to be no gangster. You don't got to be tucked. Yeah, because he was at never like that, like that, that. when yeah. it stopped. He was like the skateboarder, the little brother and That's shit. That's how I looked at him, And he got sucked into it. That's how I looked at him, P. So I'm not going to sit up here and say, but... But uh, yeah, I mean. So keep that shit on his wax, man. Unless y'all want to box. For everybody you know that's listening in, we're going to say it like this, though. 
If y'all don't know who Draco the Ruler is, Draco the Ruler is Draco the Ruler, you know, the dopest rapper within the last 10 years on the, West, the West Coast. For sure. Yeah. A lot of coasts. Right, so he lost his life. Ralph is Every his coast. brother. You know what I'm saying? Big Sad is another rapper. He blowing up right now. They're all upcoming. Yeah, and you know, Big Sad, he was speaking on it. And you know, Rimble, you know, he basically doing numbers on everybody. You know what I mean? He got that laid back, calm, chill flow. You know what I mean? And that shit winning. You know what I mean? So... I mean, I don't like his flow really, but his shit was better than their diss, so I can't. What can I say? Yeah, and at a certain point, everybody gonna use that Kendrick, that Kendrick beat or that DJ Mustard beat. It was, yeah. it was a DJ Mustard beat. So Everybody's yeah. dragging that shit. Yeah, so everybody gonna use it because it was a hot song, and 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 Kendrick he didn't sell so many streams off of it. You know, everybody want the attention off. Bro, that they shit. painted a mural on Compton, uh, Kendrick Lamar kicking and uh, Drake's down there getting all beat up and shit. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. it so was, yeah, man, it's it's getting big. And uh, what's his name? OG. Most Def is even took to the uh, beef. Oh yeah, you said that. This and everybody, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J Cole. So yeah, man, it just opened up a can of worms. You know I think I mean? that's boozy. No, nah, it is. That's what I'm saying. It's I don't a little know, too late. Yeah, I don't know what you think about most death and shit. Most death. Like I fuck with most death, but yeah, it's oh, a little too late. My whole life, I mess with most death. It's a little I think too that's late. Hip hop. You know what I'm saying? In the purest form. Like, we know you're the GOAT. You ain't got to say shit, but you, you going so out. You so You getting up out your seat to say something is really making That's you like look, common. Yeah, That's like common look, getting on there and starting. like an like, old man. We already know y'all dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why you stoop down to these little, you know what I mean, little niggas levels. I think it'd be that attention shit, though. <laughs> no, it is. You know what I mean? These people And you can only take or, so much bullshit. You know but most deaf, I'm not even going to take nothing away from most deaf because that's one of the He's greatest. He's a legend, for sure. Yeah, most deaf. And then you got Common. I like Common. You know what I mean? I really like Common because that's socially conscious music. You know what I mean? So I'm glad he didn't go into this type nah, of shit. Yeah, he but he does, get sucked into like the, he does get sucked into the bullshit and publicity a lot, though. Who, Common or most deaf? Common because he be getting all the women and they be hating Common for sure. Yeah, Common just so a, positive and shit. Yeah, but people don't like positive. So now they're trying to turn him negative. And yeah, they're trying like to spin it negative. You know yeah. how that shit work. That's how that shit go every time. But but look, uh, shout, shout out to everybody. Yeah, we shout out most death, look, man. Keeping that uh, hip hop alive, the beef. Big sad. People say a lot of different things about him. Who what he's accused of? You know, telling in his little case, right? And then you got. You know, Ralphie, he didn't help his brother. You got Rimble basically came out and woke everybody up with this hot disc. You know what I mean? So I feel like, um, you know, hip hop is, is is in a good place. Good state right but now. But I hope they just keep it on wax. And yeah. Don't get mad because he is saying some dope ass shit and, and try to go, you know, retaliate off with some firearms and shit like that. You don't need that type of shit. Yeah, that's a uh, up one for, um, what's the name though? Which one? Who? Up one for Rimble. For sure, for sure. I like this disc, so definitely. And then, and then the shit doing numbers. You know, when we talk about numbers, you know, De De Deshaun Paul, Dejan Paul, always talk about numbers. You know that one nigga that got shot at No Jumper. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So no, nah, he be doing music and shit too. Uh. Yeah, he be talking about the the numbers, and you know the numbers don't lie. You know, people going to listen to that disc, and he must be Rimble must be putting on. But no, nah, that shit did numbers. I seen it. I was like, damn, this for sure, one, for sure. they got mad. This gonna make them mad for sure. Hey man. Hip hop needs it, man. But you know, hopefully, all them brothers stay safe out there. That's yeah, all I man. Say. Best of luck in all them situations. For sure, for sure, for real. Real. What else you got up there, P? Well, we gonna keep it rolling since we in that neighborhood, man. We got Adam Twenty Two canceling a couple of his shows. Yeah. So how you feel about that? That's some weird shit. I think that That's uh, some jealousy type shit. I th I think that um, <laughs> nah, this gonna sound kind of messed up, but I feel like when you got this regular dude, you know what I'm saying. <coughs> He just like we talk about Flocko, he from the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. regular. And then you got all these gang Needle in the haystack. And you got to come to work every day, the, the place that you created, and walk on eggshells because you got all these gang members here. The environment you created. Real talk. Key words right there. Hey, key words. He did create the negative environment, but I think my, my now personal don't know opinion, what to do about he it. didn't want Spider Loak there no more, right? He didn't want DW Flame there no more, right? He didn't want P Nice there. That was uh, D.W. Flame's brother. He didn't want him there no more. I feel like. But I kind of get it where he's coming from because it was probably getting out of control at that time. Yeah. Like you're naming a lot of people. Well, in the numbers. Remember, we, we, we always go back to the numbers, so right? So it would be nothing but like a gangster party all day. But I'm saying like if you go live, 
if, you, if you go live and then you guys are messing up the stream by doing all this so it don't get monetized no, for sure the show don't get monetized but i still got to pay all six of y'all two hundred dollars for this episode right so he got to pay everybody up there twelve hundred dollars right and the show might have only did 300 because it got demonetized or it got yellow no a lot of that should be crazy like yeah it got limited it reached, it's not they green. reach a lot and push a lot yeah so him i think it was a good business decision with adam only because if i'm paying 1200 and i'm only making three how long am i gonna let this keep going on not nah, for real you know what i mean it was getting out of control even i could see that shit. but having a lot of gang members it's 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 from where you certain, came from to where at, you're at yeah at a certain point sure. that gets scary though nah because sure. he starts losing control and he lost control when for the, sure when it, when everybody like from back on fig left and shit yeah because at least he was saying back on fig wasn't making money at least back on fig was it just I mean, looked like he wanted to rebuild said, so fast and my bad i said he, he was saying back on fig i mean ad show at the end of the day or whatever i forgot what ad yeah. show was called on no jumper and uh t rails but they was doing like 150,000 views, which is like $1,000, you know, $1,100 per episode. And if you only had to pay, say, T-Rail 200, you, you wasn't losing money. You just wanted them out of here. You didn't like what they did when they left and they yeah. started making their own show, right? He should have just been real about that. But when you bring hella gang members in here and they not doing the numbers, it starts to get like, hey, is this good business? Like you a know? damn circus act. Yeah, like if this shit ain't, like we're, we're, we're basically blowing up off drama. You and that's what I mean? exactly what it is. That's why I kind of lost interest in that shit. It wasn't you, even, you know, even. You know when I seen him get real mad? It was last. It was last Sunday when him and Wack was doing his the Wack and uh, whatever Adam show. Yeah, I don't like that one either. But that's not. Pete, that's like the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. But uh, P Nice and D W Flame. They walked in and he said, hey, we can't just have it right there on air. He said, hey, we can't just have it where people are just walking in shows saying what's up. You know, we're recording live here, you know? That's for true, though. I don't think he was recording live, but I think he was recording the show. But he's like, we can't have it to where y'all just walking in in the middle of conversations. And when, when I when I seen him do that, I knew he had a problem with them. He's like, bro, they think they could just walk around here and do anything, you know? And that's what it was looking like. Yeah. Because they were just posting just to post and shit. And I was like, damn, they must have run out of shit to do. Yeah, and the things they were talking about, they were talking about, they, they had like a girl on there or something, and they was talking about weed for like 45 minutes on Brick Baby Show, and he was like, the fuck are we doing here, you know? Y'all, this is a waste nah, of time. Like, like you said, I lost interest. I can't even, shit ain't even entertaining <laughs> no more. It used to be entertaining. Now it just looks cringy, and he's just trying too much. Like. But I think it was a good business move. That's all I'm going to say, because if I have to pay more than I'm making, that, that's already. No, nah, facts. You got to, uh, what's that shit? <laughs> uh Make adjustments. Shit. Make adjustments and regulate the shows you don't need. For you know sure. Get me so, out. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. what's good and throw away that bullshit. Like. But yeah, like I said, I just think he wanted to get rid of the people he don't really mess with. Spider Loak. He had another show. Uh, Flocko. A bunch of you know, Flocko <laughs> pissing everybody off too. Before we move on, he's you know, been doing that shit. Flocko though. pissing off everybody. Is Flacco taking what they talk about on the show, then going home and doing his own podcast and making yeah, money? Yeah, and off it's that looking shit. like that. And Flacco already at like a hundred, two hundred thousand. I don't know where. I think he like at a hundred. You see when they sh when he showed up to the uh, the uh, opening, the new opening on Meros? No, whatever. When Flacco it was like a couple months ago, he pulled up and they were just acting weird, like. And he just left early and he was talking about making his own shit. But like, yeah. go back and watch it. You'll see. Yeah. And, and to pivot off that, too, I will say this, too. Also, Dejan Paul supposedly got shot up there. So Adam probably like, man, it's too much for Toxic me to worry environment about. environment, for sure. Yeah. So I don't Hostile. like You know how we always throw Brun, uh, Brun under the bus because he be doing weird shit? Like, I'm going to say like this. Like, at a certain point, bro, that shit, that's just too much for anybody to handle. You got to, like, get it back to the basics. At, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad yeah, at bro. Facts. Shout out to... Uh, yeah, shout out to everybody. We shout out to everybody. And, and anybody they can go home and make their own content, they're going to be good. You know what for I'm saying? Real. So y'all just go y'all just go keep doing y'all thing. For real. They really don't need Adam, but it's like a... No, he gave it. you an opportunity, yeah, a stepping stone. Go ahead and move on from that. Yeah. Don't for worry real, about man. that shit. What else you got up for? Speaking of moving on, man, we're going to keep going. We got mm -hmm. your uh, Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy, man. What happened with Getting that? Getting bashed by the media and bashed by fans... When she opened up performance for uh, Beyonce this past, you know what I mean? What did I say? Weeks. 
you know, they're just trying to bash little kids. And she shit. can't sing and shit? Yeah, that she can't sing and give it up and shit. Which I I kind of get where they're coming from because they shouldn't be, you know what I mean, just thrusting their daughter into the spotlight in the media because how is she going to take it? She's a little girl. You know what I mean, that okay. might scar for life and type shit. I can dig it. But I, I can dig it too. Like, you got to be tough nowadays even just to be, you know what I mean, anybody. So it's like. I kind of get it where she's coming from, but I kind of don't agree with it. How you feel about that, man? I think that um, if they believe in their kid and they feel like they can put their kid out there to be a star, I feel like ain't nothing like some parents that really believe in you. Yeah, you know? she didn't say nothing. <laughs> she just said, keep going. Just suck it up and keep going. Yeah. Because she probably went through the same shit. Of course. That's what I'm saying. Like, if your, if her parents think that she's going to So she's going to go through twice as much. Because you got parents out here that won't push their kids to fucking do nothing. That's facts. To go to the store and get a soda. That's facts. <laughs> you know? So it's like, if, if they want her to be somewhere, they're saying, hey, Blue Ivy, we got you in these singing classes. We got you in these dancing classes. Get out there and show them what you can do. Not I'm for real. Your mama, Beyonce, I'm your mama. That's your uh, daddy, Jay-Z, whatever you know. Because like, you know, Beyonce probably got on her more because you know that's her daughter. So you know, But she, I'm just saying, yeah, just don't force it on them and shit like that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about like when it comes forcing to, it on her, but when saying, it comes to performance, because don't come with the it. The reason why I said Beyonce too, because a lot of people were saying it was Beyonce, you know, and yeah. And I, I feel like Beyonce, like she fuck uh, I don't want to say it like that, but I'm gonna say it like this. She probably see herself and her daughter. Right, oh, let's just sure. keep it simple. She probably sees everybody. Us. Every mother probably wants the best. You know and she mean? probably like, damn, at this age, if I would have just been doing this, I could be way farther than I am now. No, nah, that's fat. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, but I, I just think it's too much for these kids nowadays. I know what you mean, but it, it, it depends on your kid because everyone's kid has a different personality. Every other child star, and you know what I mean. I know, but I, I think every kid has their own personality. So like, look at Ti. His kids grew up in the spotlight. I bet but, you he regrets it. And, but it's only a few of them that want to be rappers. Some of them want to be smart. You know, it's mm -hmm. like not every, not all of them want to just be rappers. They want to be like, some of them want to be businessmen. But like, if you see that comes kid, the same shit with Kim K and her kids. Like, they're just throwing their kids out there to the wolves. And but shit. I don't see Kim, Kim K's kids that much. Like, like the same, I see the... I'm saying like, a, like an she's Italian She's out search. more than Blue Ivy, I think. Like, No, no, I'm saying like a... Like, Cause you saying like Beyonce got her kids like on some talent search shit. Like she, she trying to make them stars. I, Kim Kardashian really don't do that with her kids. Like, yeah, they're on the show or whatever, but they're not like on the stage trying to sing songs or do nah, dance. She, is. she just was on Kanye's album, all types of shit. The kids singing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, if, a little if, too like, early but, for it, but it's like I don't, who might have judged. Hey, if it because it, it almost who made me, say. it almost made me like kind of happy when you said that. I'm not going to even sit up here and cap because if you believe in your kids enough to put them on your album, that's a huge step. You no, I agree saying? with that, but it's just I'm just scared for the meat, the other people. You know what I'm saying I think that how the people are gonna I think tear that, these little kids up. And shit. I think that you're right. I just think that you have certain kids that are ready. And you have certain kids that ain't ready. And then you have certain kids that's like, I want to play a sport. And then you have some kids that's like, I want to perform. And I want to do what you do, like like how they trying to get and on And a lot Beyonce. of these parents, artists, slash stars, whatever you want to call them, they want their kids to be just like them. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't think that's a, such a bad thing. That's all I'm saying. I think in my whole argument, I think that that's not such a bad not thing. Such a, not such a bad thing, but you know what I'm saying? You got to protect your kid as long as you could, man. And like, but like, if I had to ask you a personal question, do you think there's a certain type of age that you should have? Obviously your, not, because we've been seeing kid stars. But I'm asking you, though, in your personal opinion, do you feel like there's a certain type of age? Like if you had a kid and you were some big mega star, like I'm not going to let my kid do this till they 12 or something. Or do you feel no, like until they're 18 and graduated and that's what they want to do. You know what I mean? Okay, and so they're ready you, to you saying, embrace all that's coming. You know so what you mean? saying that I think it's just there's too no much reason as, to force anything. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. No, nah, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and say that's wrong either. Let them come into their own. You know what yeah. I mean? And if that's, that's what, what it, they want to do. And if that's what it is and that's what it's going to be Fact. type of shit, but you don't want to make it. I see what you're saying. Just don't I, force your kid to be a... A Can I ask you one more question second, before we yeah. pivot? It, what about if it was uh, sports? Do you feel the same about sports? So if you play, if you was a good ass basketball player, you you want your kid to wait till eighteen to play basketball? Um, no, so because your kid if would have because if I was a basketball oh. star, my kid would have 
picked it up as soon as you know I mean they were able to. So are you saying that Beyonce's kid doesn't sit there and watch her sing and dance in the studio and doesn't want to be not a star? I'm saying that. I'm just saying the same thing because I had to give you it on the shoe on the other foot type shit. But I'm saying there's just like a certain age and there's certain that's different though too, like kind of. Why? Because they're uh, sharpening their skill. And would you say Beyonce, LeBron? She's not even ready for that. She just. But would me. you say LeBron James is wrong for having his kids out there since they've been kids putting them? In, in, no, on because the they street? sharpened their skill along the whole way. And so would you say Beyonce's daughter is not sharpening their skill by getting up there and getting these critiques? No, she is for sure. That's what I'm saying. I'm just. That's why it might be good, but I'm just saying kids nowadays, they're so soft, it might be too much for them. You know what I mean? Like too overwhelming. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And a lot of kids are too emotional nowadays. They don't even. I'm glad, to, like you said, I'm glad to see them doing it, but it's like. Because it's, it's a gonna lot. It's going to take a toll on them. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's and, all and I'm and saying. And not a lot of parents. From me seeing like childhood even, stars and shit growing up. All and and not a lot of parents even have the energy to invest in their kids. So to even see them doing that, no matter what level, no matter if they're Beyonce, no matter who they are. But like you like said, she might huge. come into her own. Yeah. So it's like, but so, like yeah, I, I you know what? for the best. You know what I mean? You know what? Because there ain't no right or wrong to this one. You know, everyone's nah, going right. to have their certain opinion, you know? <laughs> Some sure. people are going to say, hey, start them when they're five. You know? Some people are going to say, hey, start them when they're fucking 12. You know? So, so I'm not saying you're right. I'm not saying I'm right. But I just wanted to explore the topic in a deeper matter, you know? And I wanted to see, like, you know, what did you think about a no, sports shit. star versus... It's deep when you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're putting your kids out there and shit like yeah. that. No, like either you said, They might not see You got to make sure they're ready. And they might have a different, you know what I mean? You have, you have a good point, though. You got to make sure they're ready, no matter what. Just yeah. in any situation, I don't care if it's sports, I'm just boxing. saying, and kids nowadays, they're growing up too damn fast. So, you know what I'm saying? You better cherish that shit while you can. That's right. That's all I'm trying to say. That's, that's Keep your game. kid close, man. Good game, P. What else we got? Up? We got your boy... P. Diddy, man, apologizing for that shit that he did to Cassie and all the allegations. He said, man, I was fucked up. I was in a bad state. <laughs> yeah, P. Diddy, uh, P. Diddy, he didn't mean none of that. He didn't get no charges <coughs> against him for that either. Yeah, he can't. Because uh, it's been a while. But, statue of limitations. Yeah, is so it's like she could bring all the heat she wants now, but she should have brought it up when shit happened, like back in the days and shit. Yeah, and I think... Uh, so that shit backfired, but still. I think P. Diddy's apology lacked Cassie's name. Lacked ca it it empathy. He didn't, he didn't say her name. Yeah, it, yeah. Lacked, it lacked empathy for real. For sure, He for didn't sure. say her name. He didn't care about really her as a human being, you know? He was just uh, worried about not looking bad, Facts. you know? So he did what he had to do. He got up there and he tried to, you know, sugarcoat the shit, you know? And I don't know how other people look at that, but I'm going to say like... No, nah, bro, everybody's seen clear that through that shit yeah. people are making memes people are redoing it like i seen what's his name one of these uh social media comedians reenacting the whole shit and it was just bad yeah i bet me, you that's just gonna be on saturday night live this week and to me personally bro i don't think that he is even sorry no you could tell yeah yeah like he did what he did and like he just saying that shit just to save face but he really don't care about what he did just to keep him off his ass for a little bit longer yeah like he, he don't care about what he did. He did what he did, and he going to keep moving. Because they building a case on all you bitches. And when you hella rich like that, bro, he gave the people $50,000 at the desk for the tape. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Or I don't know how they kept Not it. Not bad. I bet he did. But they smart for keeping it because they got double paid, like I said on the other show. They definitely got paid again, nigga. They got that. Bro, you know how much people's getting paid, how they pass it around to sell it to everybody. They getting paid for that shit. Yeah, but bruh, bruh. Brett just dumb, you know what I mean? But if he feel like he No, winning, it's just a matter of time. Like, if you that rich, too, why the fuck are you trying to control anybody? It's just a matter of time. I think it would be way more dope of a person if P. Diddy was just like, Bro, hey, you I know heard, what? You don't want to listen? Fuck you. I heard <laughs> these uh, more allegations, like, from back in 1999, where Black Rob made a song, and they talked about <coughs> uh, how P. Diddy set up... Uh, Tupac and shit. Yeah, Shine and all that shit. Hey, I heard... No, uh, how they got Tupac killed. I heard uh, Boo Capone on uh, Back on Fig. Let me let me jump into this. Yeah. Right quick. Because I heard... Uh, wait, 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 before we do that. Yeah. Before we do that. P. Diddy, right? His apology didn't mean shit. Nah, at all. I can't wait till they get him for Another doing what he did. Because kind. not only not only did he not... Uh, not only was he not genuine with the apology... 
But like he almost made himself look dumb. Like he don't even give a fuck about her as a person. No, nah, for so all he had to do is say, "Hey, Cassie, I'm sorry." To me, I was at a bad point in my life. You know, what I'm saying I was drunk that night. You know what I'm saying? Shit That's what he said. And that shit didn't make. But it, but it, it would have been better if he would have said it to Cassie on the fucking camera. Years ago. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if you're going to apologize today. Bro, there's nothing they could do to get out of this shit. Nah, bro. but I'm saying like if if if, if Cassie you know, going to watch, Cassie don't hurt. ever want to be around that nigga again because she probably think he going to do it again. But I'm saying she probably, if he talking to her through the camera, he could say, hey, Cassie, I'm sorry about that night. You know, you look through my phone, you know, and I got mad. Yeah, That's was, what I'm saying, though. But he, he should have told the to real thing so yeah, that she nah. could have felt them and the world could have felt it. And he was like, he could have been like, you look through my phone, you got mad or 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 you asked me for some money. I didn't give it to you or I found some guy's numbers in your phone. It could have been the other way around. Man, we don't know no that. Don't, do, don't do that, though. We're going to keep it going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Yeah. Hold on, no. You don't know that, though. Come on, bro. I'm just saying you don't know. There's it. more than fucking evidence. More evidence to see, like. I mean, there's too much. Like you said, if you're not convinced by now. No, I'm convinced, but I don't know what couples, sometimes couples argue and it could be about something with the guy or it could be something with the girl. It's not always well, just. Whatever a, happened, man. We didn't see the other part. That's facts. So it's like. That's facts. We can only go off what we've seen and what we know. So it's like, That's facts. Hey, can, you know what? But I was I was trying to. You were trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. doubt. But I'm trying to give everyone the benefit of the doubt because you know you know why I say that? Because a lot of these motherfuckers be doing dumb shit and it's unexplainable. But it's too much. But, but for me. Continuous dumb for, shit. For, for, for me, I'm going to be real. It's unexplainable. Really. For like sure. you shouldn't even get on the thing and not say if you're going to do it. Don't not talk to Cassie. Who is you talking to when you apologize? <laughs> Wait, you're talking to us? Why are you talking what to us? What is you for? doing, really, though? Are you apologizing? Like, so I was trying to give this nigga the benefit of the doubt, bro. But honestly, like, nigga, you should be talking to her when you apologize and you I dumb was like, fuck. Man, don't say, bro. But whatever, you don't man. Be safe. Yeah, for real, nigga. Because that nigga didn't even talk to her. Like, nigga, nigga was talking to the world. Like, hey, guys, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I was messed up that day. But yeah, hey, you know what I want to do? Yeah, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. What are you talking about? Real, realistically though, let's be real. Like, what are you really talking about? But you supposed to be talking to her. You beat her. Damn, up. diddler. <laughs> hey, but anyways, I'm gonna say like this. So T. Rowe and them had, Boo, I think his name Boo Capone, whatever he was on her. He said that uh, Tupac had a squabble with Michael Jackson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That'd be tired as fuck to see. He said Michael Jackson kind of got over on Tupac though. Damn. He said they was in the studio and they was getting, they was talking shit to each other. You go and hey, y'all can go legendary. watch this shit back. Y'all hey, believe it? Okay. Every Two big egos and shit like that clash. Nah, let's do it like nah, let's do it like this. Like, and this nigga that. said Tupac used to always want to fight, and he said that nigga uh, Tupac Mike used threw, to be wild for sure. He said Tupac threw like a cup. Tupac threw a punch. Mike blocked it. Mike threw a punch, and Damn. then he threw a kick at him. He said, "You remember how Michael Jackson used to be kicking and shit." <laughs> He said Michael Jackson threw a kick, nigga. And he said, nigga, he said, you remember all his little dance moves? But he hella funny, too, this nigga. But he said he wasn't lying, though, nigga. And he said, I nigga, believe it. Yeah, he said the niggas was They squabble. said Michael Jordan used to be a crip or something. Michael Jackson? Michael, yeah, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson Jordan used to be was a crip. crip. Damn. Michael Jackson. <laughs> nah, but uh, uh, Michael Jackson was a crip. Yeah. <laughs> He was. <laughs> nigga say, bro, I ain't fucking around, yeah, bro. Yeah, nigga say Michael Jackson was a crip. crip. Walk, man. Yeah, he nigga must say. Have a mean crip walk, for sure. Uh, the nigga say the nigga used to always have crips with him, nigga. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, yeah. he squabbled with uh, Tupac, and then that nigga said, I ain't saying that Tupac lost, he said, but Mike kind of like I got over Tupac a little bit. Lost, but Mike did his thing. Nigga on everything, bro. I was like, damn, that was a funny ass story, but it sounded real, nigga. And this nigga said, one thing I don't do, nigga, is lie. Nigga, like, nigga, he's like, I'm not finna get up on here and lie. No, nah, you wouldn't lie. He a real gangbanger. He said he was born you in the 70s. Lie. Yeah, you wouldn't lie about that. Nah. Man. Nigga, he a real nigga. Like, he been with hell of people, bro. He knows every single person, like, real star type he of shit. He's as hell. I uh, know, nigga. Hey, but, but push on, P. What else we got, man? Yeah, man, we gonna keep it rolling. We got uh, San Diego officer. Released after being locked in the back seat with one of his suspects. Man. <laughs> yeah. I heard about this dumb shit too, bro. How this can he get spicier so and stupid, spicier man. now? How can he get so dumb, man? I don't know. Like he had the he had the cam. I mean, he had the he arrested a girl. You know right? what I'm saying? I don't know if she was. I don't know what she was. Oh yeah, he was arrested. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was arrested. Yeah, I don't know if they call girls or whatever we call them, right? 
but he arrested one of those. You know what I'm saying? And he took her in the car and she started saying things to him. You know what I'm saying? saying thanks for a piece of change. Yeah, she was like, you know, we could, we could do this right now. And he was like, huh? Don't say that. We were recording. And then he said, hold on, let me turn this off. And then I guess they pulled up on the thing. It showed a little. It showed the little map. They pulled up and parked, and they was in the car, or he was in the front of the car for ten minutes, and then the yeah, door that, opened because you know the police monitor everything about their cars. So it if showed, you get in the back seat, you don't it got showed no on a little thing though yeah. when the door was open and closed. Yeah, and all little, that shit. They got cameras right here. Cameras yeah. on the inside. Yeah, but then he turned all that off. He thought he was smart, but the, the doors, the shit, doors, bro. if they open. If they open, they, they it, it like monitors it so the cops can't lie about where they oh, are with like a uh, just like a probably simple little switch. Shit. No, like a switch, like the tell tapes them everything. That, no, not like a taping device, but something like just like the door open, the door closed at this time. The door open, the door. Oh closed. no, that's facts. Yeah, that's facts. yeah something like about, that. So I heard they about said that before. Yeah, so they said he was just sitting in the car for ten minutes, nigga. And then after that, he got in the back of the car and then he called like after an hour and a half and he said, hey, I'm stuck in the back of the car. And the, the, the partner was like, what the fuck? You stuck in the back of the car? And he's like, yeah. And he was in there with the girl and he's like, damn, I fucked up, dude. He said, man, I man, I fucked up, dude. He told the dude that and he was like, oh, man. He's like, and the, and the other dude said the same thing he said when the girl said that shit to him in the car. He said, man, let me turn let me turn off my mic, man. Yeah. <laughs> let me turn off my body cam and shit, because you you done messed up, man. Yeah. You look dumb, though, bro. Dumb. And How I think dumb I, can you get? That's like you said. He deserves everything. He was moving real stupid. Yeah, sure. like, a, I don't care what kind of position. Trying like, to serve and protect. If you was a he cop, was would you ever him. let a girl do something like that? Huh? If you was a cop, would you ever let a girl do something like that? I wouldn't be getting in the back seat if I was no cop. Like, what the fuck? I would never, ever let a girl proposition me, bro. And you nah, get arrested. I would have, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're done. I don't care how good you look. Go to jail. You feel me? I'm like, maybe when I get off, girl. Nah, I'm, I'm cool. If I follow that shit. Like, you go to jail. Like, we met on the wrong circumstances, and it will never be that. You know what I mean? But he looks stupid because he get. That's he get what he said. He fucked up when he got in the back of the car. Like. <laughs> and then he locked himself in the yeah, back. Yeah, like. They can't teach stupid, man. That's done. The partner came and he said, hey, man, get out, man. I'm like, what are you? You know, like. Yeah, that's the jackass of the day. Facts. Sure. That is the jackass of the day. Facts. That was yeah. in San Diego, by the way. Well, shouts out to him, man. <laughs> nah, he, he lost his job. That's for sure. Yeah. No, my fault. He resigned. Yeah. And then now, nah, you know, it's yeah. a loss. He got to let go, of, for sure. All that shit. You go pick him up all you want now. Yeah, go pick him up all you want. Nigga, trick. That's what he is, a trick. For sure. A lot of these police be tricks, but only few get exposed, man. But we right. gonna keep it rolling. What else you got up for us, P? We got your uh, Israel president dies in the midst of all this war and stuff. What that, that the helicopter? Yeah, the helicopter crash. helicopter crash. Yeah, that was shit. weird too. But I don't think if everyone hated him, you got some all people, this shit's planned and strategized. Yeah, bro, and you got some people having uh, parties and shit that he didn't die. They said they hella happy on the streets. So it's a fake death. No, I'm talking about like he died. So many people hated him. Oh, yeah, for sure. So many people hated him. They having parties and late night shindigs and shit Damn. now. Like, nigga, come on, bro. You like, imagine how many people he was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, like he had a lot of people and hurt killed and all types and of all shit. All kind of shit. Yeah, back in the days. He was a bad person. Terrible person. No, you know? for sure. So, I mean, I understand how why they felt like they felt, but it was just, it was crazy, bro. It was like, damn, like, I feel like if they are already going at it with the other people, yeah. I feel like somebody probably had some inside shit going on. You know what I mean? And I feel weird shit just didn't keep happening like that. Like, yeah, because sure. with these little crashes and the fog type shit, it's like y'all would have never took off in the helicopter. You know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't know how to fly the motherfucker. So this shit. Nah, gonna... but yeah, helicopters ain't, you know what I mean? It's got to really, some got to knock it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it don't make no sense. No fogs in it. You know what I mean? Bro, like they can fly hella high over all the mountains and go exactly. where they're going. They know what to do. So like sometimes so. I don't want to, and I don't want to be disrespectful. But Kobe yeah, that's Bryant. What, facts. That's what I was, that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Yeah, too. Kobe Bryant too. That shit like, didn't make no sense. Why are you so low? Why are you flying so low in the fog? Yeah. And the, through the valley, the mountains Same and shit. thing, bro. Like, Same come thing. on, bro. You should be a lot higher than that. But yeah, so I can see a lot of conspiracies surrounding that, but I feel the same, but Man, my condolence to him and everybody going through that, and best of luck for sure. Facts, so man.
But yeah, rest in peace, state president. Even if he was a good or a bad person, if yeah. he did get murdered or if it was an accident, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It a happened, lot of presidents happened. do have, you know what I'm saying, split decisions and people that hate him and don't like him. So yeah. Facts. What else you got up for us, P? We're going to keep it rolling. We got a WNBA player, uh, Caitlin Clark, man. New rookie sensation that just went to the NBA and they ain't accepting her with open arms. It's a girl? Yeah, that's um, from uh, Iowa. She went to a boys team? No, she went to WNBA. Oh, okay, and they don't like it? And th and she's new. She just got drafted. What's though. her name? Caitlin Clark, the one that's been going crazy all over the state. You know what's crazy? That one, uh... You know what's crazy? Well, Sorry, Caitlin, but I ain't even tapped in. So I, I definitely got no, you heard research. of her, but You heard of her. I, I never. I, she was, I was the one that was lie. going against Angel Reese when there was LSU and shit. Nah, bro. Yeah, well, anyway, she just got... She just got to the WNBA and they bullying her around, man. Well, she ain't doing as good as they thought. No, she's doing good, but they ain't giving her no slack or nothing. They going hard on they her. They shouldn't. They got their opinion. Yeah, and they she a rookie. To, and they comparing her to like when Jordan came to. You saying so? She a rookie, right? Yeah. For oh sure. yeah, and that 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 that, that got to be how that yeah. happened. Yeah, she a rookie. She got, but I never heard of Kaylin Clark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even know that, so I got to make sure I put myself on You got to do your man. research, man. Yeah, that way I know. Cause For sure, because if you ain't heard, you must have been under a rock. Yeah, facts. I ain't going to lie to you, P. I, I try to watch so many different things, boxing, MMA, so fucking <laughs> to get this news and all this shit we be chopping up about. Yeah. It'll be deep. But For I real. never heard of Kaylin. But what Best else? Best of luck to Kaylin, man. In the hey. League. They just push you around, bullying you. Kevin, I'll say like this, man. If they if they push you around, man, just keep playing hard, man, until you're the best, man. You're the greatest out nah, there. She's good, like you said. That's she what I'm saying. Just keep going. And you know how the old players be when young players come? Yeah. They want to show them, you know what I mean? Show them how they get down. That's what I'm saying. Just keep going. I'm going to so throw nobody put, put you Best down. of luck. Yeah, Especially if you're dope. dope. She's dope. Yeah. She's like, they calling her the girl Curry and shit. All right. Well, then, that, hey, well, then that's a big. Let me see that lighter. But well, that's some that's some big shit to say, P. What yeah, for sure. Got? That's a big statement, fact. On my mama. But we gonna keep it moving into the boxing and shit. We got your boy uh, Javante still making fights when he hasn't even fought his other fight. So who do you want to fight next? Now he said he's trying to fight uh, Lomachenko. In the yeah, yeah. Well, they, I mean, they getting that signed and ready to go. They yeah, I don't think that. I mean, that's nothing exciting to me, right? So Lomachenko has already been fought all of his big, hardest fights. Fights. You basically fighting a beat up fighter. So if you yeah. fight Lomachenko, we know you're gonna win, Javante. What's next after that? No, for real. You know, uh, Frank Martin. You know, even though he's gonna be a lot more slow, like we talked about, and methodical, he still got a lot of power to bring to the table. So get past him first. But Lomachenko, that's what I'm saying. Making fights before you you yeah. fight this last. But, fight, but like Lomachenko should not be next. Uh, Shakur should be next. You know. Of course, Stevenson no, type shit. You know, those type of fights, you know. Something that all these fights, like you said, are too soon and not needed. Like But of course Stevenson that fight's needed now. Like reaching, Shakur, is, sure. Shakur is Let getting older. Shakur is getting older. Like it's starting to get to a point where it's like, hey, come on. Fight Shakur now. I think Shakur no, wants to sure. fight him. Fight some real fighters. He already asked him to fight him on Say Cheese. No, nah, I've been wanting to see that. That's what I'm saying. I've been wanting to see Shakur and Haney fight. They should have did that before Shakur the Rock. way too tight. He like a mouse. They should have did that before the <laughs> Haney and uh, Garcia. Yeah, and Shakur, he like a mouse. But he going to get in, get out, you know. Because those are the two young bulls of boxing. Those are the two young bulls of boxing. Shakur and Haney. So they should have, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Shakur way better than Haney. If people didn't know that, then they're nuts. We'll see. Let's see. He just is. No, I he think might, he's really way, right, way he back right, when. But I would love to see it. Way Wouldn't back you? when uh, Bone was hollering at to us. I told you. Wouldn't you ago, love to see that, though? Bone was hollering at us. He was like, man, Shakur Stevenson, dope. And I started looking into him, and I was like, damn, that nigga Bone right. Come here, that nigga. For real, Shakur, shout dope, out though. Bone, man. Shout out Bone, for real. He didn't want to even put me up on Shakur. I mean, shout out to Bone, for real. For real. What else you got for us? We going to end it with your boy Ryan Garcia, man. So we got some more... Uh, uh, accusations that he failed the test. I don't know, bro. I don't know. So we getting a lot of back and forth shit, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cause so one week he passed, the next week he fails. What's they're like, it? they're hiring private labs to do this for them. Oh yeah, they gonna spend the money for sure. But I mean, if I spend some money with you and tell you to test this, and of course you gonna come back in my favor, cause and there was a time when um, I gave you the money. There was a time where, like I said, Garcia said. I don't know what Osterine, Osterine is and shit. And that's what they found inside the thing. So, I don't know. It's a bunch of big bullshit to me. I just like. think that it's all bullshit. Take that loss. Let's move on. Uh, 
Let's see, Ryan Garcia and Raleigh Romero. You know what I'm saying? Let's count Raleigh Romero out. Is that the, the little, uh, little Pitbull dude? Nah, Pitbull, nah, that's a lighter weight. But but Raleigh Romero is bigger. Uh, it's a lot more exciting. But I would like to see him and Ryan maybe match up. Because I feel like Raleigh, if Raleigh loses that fight, then he's done. You know, nah, in, the, for in the division, you know. He might as well retire because he he didn't lost a lot of his big fights <clears throat> and when he wins it's real controversial but um that's it about that no nah, yeah see they messed it up with all these fights too early now we can't get excited about any other fight you know I mean? yeah they might as well start promoting the up-and-comers now yeah for facts, real facts. i ain't gonna lie but i'm looking forward for that uh fight with uh tyson oh tyson's cool. tyson and jake paul that ain't even sure. a real fight but yeah that's a cool fight but I'm looking forward to Javante and yeah, Canelo's trying to tell. Um, what's his name? Frank. Canelo was trying to tell Tyson. He made it sent a message to Tyson, telling him don't underestimate uh, Jake Paul and shit. I don't think because he's going in there to end your I shit. I don't think Canelo should give anyone advice because he ain't even as good as he used to be. That's a waste of his Damn. breath. Damn. But uh, yeah, that's the that's that's all I got. Well, that's up, really all I got too, man. I just want to get off on that. Uh, yeah, man, I'd like to thank everybody for rocking with us on another one. It's your boy Facts. Big Gotti, man. It's your boy BZ Mac and the Handicap Assassin. Yes, sir. And until the next one, man, y'all stay safe out there. Thank you for rocking with us. Bless.